We still got patches of snow up here. Another one of those adventures for you. Here we go. I might have some paracord to throw down. Smart ass. <laughs> Brian made this look a little easier than I'm doing. <laughs> you hear that limb snapping? Was that you or the tree? I lift my knee and get stymied. <laughs> the little wind kept stopping my leg from getting here. Almost there. Almost got it. Beautiful sunrise behind you. We're parked way down in there. Good morning and welcome back to Regular Guys Outdoors. I'm Chris. If you can see the rugged terrain behind me, that means only one thing. I'm with this guy. This is the guy that convinces me to do these type of hikes. So currently we are at 11.9 and we still have probably 1500 feet of climb. Part of it will be that back there. Yes, this is snow in the background on July 13th, 2024. We got up early this morning so we could get a good chunk of this knocked out uh, in the cooler weather because we are in the midst of a heat wave. So I don't know what the weather's going to be here, but where I live it's going to be 95, 96 today. So we've probably knocked out two thirds of this hike before it's warming up. We got the sun back here and we got to go up that joker and then follow the top of it. For who knows how long to get to about 13.5 or 13.6 today? I don't even know. <laughs> I just saw a point on the map and pointed to it and said, let's go there. Yeah. He calls me two weeks ago. Hey, you want to go do this? And I'm like, no, yes. <laughs> There's no trail, no nothing. <laughs> no trail. We're on no trail. We broke off the trail earlier this morning. And uh, yep. So this is what we're doing today. No particular goal in mind other than we kind of got to get there and get back some point today look at this rugged mountain range over here i believe this is the gore mountain range gore, yep. goes all the way to vale goes all the way to vale those are some rugged mountains over there so like i said we're at 11 9 right now and we started at 9500 so that is 2400 foot of climb we've already done and we still got another 14, 15, 16, something like that to go. So we still got plenty of climb left in us. Good chunk of it will be knocked out right there though. We're going to get back moving. Choose your own adventure. Make the right choices for your footing. Takes about four steps to get winded. Get to about a dozen. You're about to pass out. We're over 12 at this point. If 
views for days from up here. So it appears we have reached our threshold for risk <laughs> on this spot right here. I don't know if this is coming through good here, but we've dislodged a couple sizable rocks trying to get to this point here from over there. This guy's about ready to go. And uh, that's a little disheartening when you dislodge the big ones. Our goal is only right around the corner there that we can't see. You got that little hill right there, and then just over there is the hill we were trying to get to, but this is not our forte. We are not rock climbers at all. <laughs> and seriously, you, should, you really should have a helmet if you're gonna be in here because your lead person could easily dump a pile of this junk onto your bottom person, and that would not bode well. They'll end up down there in that snow pit eventually. Ooh. Can you see the cracks here? It looks like this guy. I mean, this guy looks like it's really ready. There's a crack in this thing right here. That's really nice too. Looks like that's all that needs is one good winter freeze. Get yep. that thawed water in there and freeze at night. Pop it right off. Or some ex inexperienced climber to reach <laughs> his hand in there and be like, oh, look at this handhold. That's a good finger grip. <laughs> Pop. We're going to get a little quick panorama here. I mean, it is some views from up here. That's the ridge we came at. So we climbed that thing already and come back down and come up this junk. And those are rugged over there. We ate lunch and started back down. These rocks are brutal on the feet and the knees. There's three people over there and they had skin showing. Yeah. <laughs> if I wore shorts and t-shirt up here, I would be sunburned bad. Sunburned and bitten. Bitten bad. I'm already going to be bitten. I would be freaking cooked. Justice. That's steep. Real steep. But what goes up must come down. first. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's exactly where we came up. It was hard. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Straight. 
escaping. <laughs> wow. That was, uh, I think I just did a time lapse. <laughs> it was a time lapse, and I ate it at the bottom. Your shoes are probably full of rocks. Oh, yeah. But we're by the trail. Yeah. Just like that. Just like that. From there, it was only two miles back to the car, but it was a long two miles for some reason. And here's the stats on the day. Just over nine miles, and we went up and down over 3,500 feet. So we got some good training for the upcoming elk season. Hope you liked this video. If you did, give us that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down there, and as always, thanks for watching.